Yep. Onward! Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we stole vaccines for a Captain Monroe. And this time we're going to go see what Josiah Trelawney wants with me. Because it's probably important or it's probably a whole lot of nothing knowing Trelawney. It's really hard to tell. But either way, I gotta, go to, I gotta go back to camp anyway to get a jacket on Morgan because it's cold up in the hill country. Very cold indeed. Yep. But it's some beautiful country up in here. I love the hill country. It's beautiful. Beautiful country out here. I love the hill country. It's beautiful. to camp. Whoa, whoa, watch it. Oh! Sorry, buddy. Oh, yeah, and there's the sacred site that they torched, assholes. But they're dead assholes, so... What does it matter? Yep. <laughs> this is what happens when you're This is what happens when you're a dick. He is a dick. <laughs> Let's rough him up a little bit. Don't kill him. Damn it. No, it's not what I hit. That's why I don't like weapon wheels. Might as well do a little crafting. Come on, girl. Yeah. Okay. What I meant to do was just take off the damn mask. Oh my god. But you know, I just, we can't have that. It can't be simple, no. I really wish people would game studios would stop using a weapons wheel just 
And we have a primary and a secondary, and go into a menu to set up a camp. That was easy. Just some thieves. But they're dead now, so... He had a Mauser pistol. So he was a thief with money. I wonder if you can still get it. I wonder if Mauser still makes pistols. I know they're still around. I know they still make rifles. I wonder if they still make pistols. Oh, that didn't get them very far. It got them to the grave, but it didn't get them very far. Okay, not in the mood to talk. Obviously. I don't like the sound of this. All I'm saying, something happens, we get split up, we meet there. Never like there anyway. And she betrayed us. You don't know that. She told us. She was in love. Morning. What's with you? Are you gonna throw me out like Strauss? Maybe, if it comes to it. Okay, guess I'll leave you to it then. I like that one. Definitely gets the desperado look. I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. Well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. I don't blame him for taking off. It's all about to hit the fan. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? He doesn't like you? Kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, 
Perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Yes. That's why I'm here. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. He knows him. Sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Okay, that's my little Alexa dot Thank thing. It's probably telling me about my order. You have Cancel. So much. Shut up. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Not all the Native American tribes were so peaceful. The Karanko come to mind. They practice cannibalism. Some tribes truly were pretty savage, and others truly were very peaceful. The Tejas Indians were a peaceful tribe. They're, well, I don't know if that was their actual name, so they were called. Tejas means friend. Which is why Texas, or originally called Tejas, was the friendly state. Still is, on some levels. Here we are. There's my men up. Ahead. Hello. This way. Some of the settlers believed the tribe, the Hassani tribe, to be descended from the lost one of the lost tribes of Israel, and they probably were, honestly. It's not going to let me draw my rifle. I have to go in with only my pistols. I don't like this. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're, uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Uh, 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 Chief. 
Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Excuse me? Breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so, I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But shall you won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. Just let him go, okay? You son of a bitch. Shut let up. Go. Get off me. Open fire on me. Ah! You're welcome, Monroe. I'm pretty sure I killed your favor, your major, or colonel. Just crashed. Come on, Captain. Can you shoot? 
Using a bolt action? I'm using the bolt action for some reason. It's effective. Well, your colonel's kind of an asshole. I didn't notice. They won't hold fucking still so I can shoot them. This was meant to be a truth. Oh, there's my Lancaster. Okay, it's time to get moving. Okay, let's go. Captain Monroe, you're with me. What even the frickin' happened there? I don't- I don't even know what happened there. Get on, Monroe. What happened?! Arthur just fell off the damn horse!
What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. Believe I've been an it. army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Well, here's the station. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. That's you back a funny. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. Um, that guy. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. That man. But I know you. <laughs> that you fucking don't know me. Forgive Strauss me. sent me but after that's the preacher. The you don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me, I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy, well, I watched him die. I weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble you know, that love hell. exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall oh. try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Am 
my god, that... I don't even... I don't even remember his name. But he owed Strauss money. Sadie's got something for me. But, I like sticking it to the military. I'm going to do that next time. Join me then on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I go assist Eagle Flies in doing... Whatever it is he's going to have me do. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.